Alright, this is mostly for this kid Elvis, because somehow he doesn't get it. But, um, this is a front stuff tutorial. Uh, it's like, contrary to probably what you know, if you don't know anything about front flips, is there's more than one kind. There's Webster's, there's Russian fronts, and there's, like, just normal fronts. And the difference is, like, how you start and end them. Uh, step outs, I guess, count as different, but I count as variation. Alright, let's begin. Now, the way you approach all of them is pretty much the same thing, whether it be out of a punch or a step. The initial idea with your arms will, like, pretty much always be the same. Um, once you, like, stab in the ground, or you get that, like, one-two step for, like, a Webster or something, you, like, you usually reach up, like, in this, like, 45-degree area range, because if you point too far down, you're gonna go too much forward. If you go forward, then it's gonna feel like you're gonna flip more and stuff, because you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going, and, like, my head's coming over. But your problem is that you're going too much distance versus height. If you go for height, you go boom, flip around, come down. But if you go distance, then you go huh, flip around, land on your ass. Okay, so that's like the vital difference of like where you aim your arms and over throwing up and everything. Okay, so I'll just cover um, all the styles. I'll start with the most common, which is just the normal front, I guess. Um, I call it like UK or pop front because the way you do it is uh, most commonly done in the UK. And it's like a pop technique, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so what I do is... Alright. Elvis, your main problem is your takeoff. You do a Kong setup into a punch. A Kong setup is left, right, left, right. And then you try to punch. And also with your punch, your problem is you're just jumping onto the ground and magically hoping that you bounce. The ground is a solid object, Elvis. It does not bounce. If you want to get any kind of pop or spring, you're going to have to use physics. Now, the physics of blocking are, if there is a 45 degree wall right here, and I were to throw something this way at it, it would then get off and go that way. Now, that 45 degree wall, we're going to shift onto the ground. So that means anything that hits this way will go out that way. So now, when you do your punch, you don't do anything set up to your punch, because a punch is a setup. Um, a punch is, should be like a light jog forward, and then when you're ready to go, you like, you pop off one foot, and you get your feet together and lean back so your feet aren't underneath you really, they're kind of forward. And, alright, just pay attention to the leg as for positioning. When you jump off and punch, you either lean your chest back, or you can be slightly forward. But don't try and be like this, cause that doesn't look like you're really front flip out of it, you know? Okay, so, you run in, you get your punch, throw up at the same time. Stop, so, you're basically, stop, about the same time that your feet are punching in the ground, and you're like throwing up, you should kind of like, if your arms are throwing up this way, you're punching kind of, you usually punch with mostly straight legs, but you get a slight bend, and you can push off. Um, but you mainly just want to kind of like, and take your legs and kind of thing. Um, basically just practice punching and throwing up like that, how I just did. Just want to like... And then when you're actually ready for the front flip, um, you just punch, throw more forward, the legs go up here, and then you throw around the cup. I'll give an example of that. Yeah, it might have been off camera, so I didn't know this. Sorry if these are bad, they're my first like flips of the day. Uh, front flip wise anyway. Okay. Next technique is different. It is called a Russian front. R U S S I A N. Spelled for no reason. Okay. Russian fronts are very similar in the way that you punch. So you still take that same concept. But now instead of when you punch, try going like this. You want to like.
when you jump off for the punch, your arm's just like a little kind of thing. That's not as important enough, but it's basically just setting your arms up here. Because uh, this one, the way you use your arms, is kind of like how you would do a backflip. If I'm facing this way, I'm going to backflip. I'm rotating that way. I'm going to take my arms, I'm going to crouch down, I'm going to throw them up, and I'm going to bring my legs up and flip around. So now, front flip, we always do like this. But technically, if a front flip is just to turn around as a back flip, you should be using your arms here, crouching and throwing up, right? So that's kind of the idea of a Russian punch, is this idea. Now, you run in, you get your punch. Your arm should be about here. Or like here or something. When you get your punch, and like you get that maximum bounce, at that uh moment is when you should be like this. You should be at the maximum extent of your arms behind you from that fling when you are bouncing uh, bouncing off the ground. So like when you <sighs> see what I mean? Like practice out of a punch. So it's like that little arm swing I was talking about, that's basically when you jump from here, you just go. Because then your uh, your throw down, instead of just that, it has, you know what I mean? Okay, so let me demonstrate a few uh, Russian fronts. Go in the other way. Basically, depending on which of those you use is what's easiest for you. Uh, I try and do the overhead ones as much as possible, but I think Russian fronts are so easy. It's just bad to have the habit of Russian fronts and try and twist. Because you like, when you do front twist, you and wrap. But with like, I mean, if you want to do it like a full, you could like. Somehow, <laughs> I guess I'll have to do that now that I thought of it. But, um, yeah, so that's how you do those kinds of fronts. The last one I'm going to cover is the hardest because, uh, split leg takeoffs usually people aren't as good at them at first. I'm still not that good at them. Punching is very easy. You stab the ground, you fly, you flip, and you just do it. Um, with split leg takeoffs, hot. Split leg takeoffs for like a Webster or something. You like, it's like this weird, uh, as Epic calls it, a kick and push. Uh, this leg kind of hits the ground like that. Back leg kicks around. So this leg's kicking the ground away and pushing off. This leg is kicking around and pushing through the flip. But uh, don't worry about this one so much. Uh, this, this is kind of more of a flexibility thing, so yeah, you really shouldn't worry about it, because if you're starting free running, the last thing you have is flexibility. Um, so like, when you come in, you run up, and like your punch, you're, you're going to jump and lean back. And this gets your feet ahead of you. And you step down closer, like, than you think you should, because... I find that the more uh, close your legs are, the more whip you get. Because if you naturally want to come from here and drive that around, that's all well and dandy. But if you're here when you want to do, <coughs> when you're here when you want to do that, um, you have to go that little bit and then do that. And it doesn't seem like much, but because you're doing it in a flip, you have <coughs> this extra little kick for momentum. So, I mean, it's only going to make things easier, right? It's just kind of weird at first to, like, yeah, your legs. Anyway, uh, more about technique. It's basically, you come in, have your arms behind you. Uh, I want to say it's kind of like a UK front, but you could also do, like, a Russian. Uh, the way it's like a UK is you, like, stab in, <coughs> you throw up, and you whip this leg at the same time, and you kind of, like... I always talk like this. Since the way you look like sides look like this. I talk like this. 
So uh, let me show you a Webster with a uh, UK style. Okay. And like how I said the Russian kind of applies to everything, I didn't say it all, but I expected you to know that. Um, you could like come in and do that and do it, but I might talk more. I'm not really sure because I don't do it that way. Guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, it feels kind of weird. So just uh, just fix your punch, which should be that whole like. And just lean back. Um, and just make sure you throw up in this area, not this area, because if you throw it down, like, it feels like you're going to flip faster, but like I said in the beginning, the whole reason you throw up is because you will flip faster rather than think you do. So, uh, yeah, good shit.